Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Rabbi Avi Zweibel from Chabad Jewish Center in Ashland. Good to see you, sir. Thanks thank for coming. You. It's a pleasure being here. Yeah, thank you for coming. So November 11th, uh, Chabad Jewish Center is, is hosting Eva Schloss, um, a, you know, a Holocaust survivor you know, who spent time at Auschwitz. She's related to Anne Frank. You know, this, this is a pretty incredible thing you guys are doing. Tell us how, how she's coming here. It's very interesting because it was not easy to get her to come here. I mean, there's large cities that metropolitans have wanting to come for her to come for years and years, and they weren't able to get a hold of her. And it's almost like a miracle how I was able to make the right connections and really preservations of really, I, it was for years I've been trying to do this, and finally we got the okay for her tour to work out that she'd come out here to Medford, Oregon. That's wonderful. So it's an incredible opportunity. It's really an incredible And she's in her 90s, I she's believe. She's 90 years old, correct. Wow, okay. And so uh, she is, she did, as I mentioned, she spent time at Auschwitz, correct? correct. And she, she is related to Anne correct. Frank. Uh, can you tell us maybe that story a little bit? You know, their lives parallel very similar to each other. They were actually childhood friends. They lived in the same apartment block in Amsterdam. And they went into hiding for two years, in 19, from 1940 till to 1944, till unfortunately the Nazis found them and they were sent to Auschwitz. And Anna did, Anne Frank did not survive, as we all know, the end of the of story. Course. But Eva Schloss did survive the war. And her story is actually a miracle for itself, how she survived and the, the courageous spirit she had to do that. And she'll share with us that story as well as her memories of Anne Frank as a child before she even wrote the diary, how she knew her playing together uh, in, in, those, in Amsterdam, as yeah. well as she'll share the publication of the Anne Frank diary, how Otto Frank and father, father mm -hmm. discovered the diary after the war, and all the whole background of what went into publishing it. So it's yeah, she was there fast. throughout she that there. process. She was, she was involved in it. She was involved in it, yes. This is really a historical event. In incredible, okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five again here with Rabbi Avi Zweibel from Chabad Jewish Center here in the Rogue Valley. So we're, we're talking about this event. Um, Eva Schloss, a, a Holocaust survivor from Auschwitz, uh, Anne Frank's stepsister, is Correct. that right? And okay. childhood friend. And childhood friend, yeah, is going to be here in the Rogue Valley on November 11th. Uh, where will she be speaking? At the Medford Armory. It's okay. going to be on November 11th at 6.30 p.m. The door is open at 5.30 and I always tell people to try to come early because we are expecting a huge turnout for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, the tickets can, can be bought on our website at chabadofashland.org mm -hmm. uh, slash that, and, and Frank. Okay, yeah, and there is a, there is a cost associated with Correct. it. I mean, as we've been talking about, she's a renowned speaker. She's, she's probably been doing figure, this a long time. And the, she lives <laughs> in London, England. She's coming all the way from England. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. And, and uh, is, uh, you, mentioned, you mentioned seating because there's a limited amount of seating. Correct. So you're recommending people get online now and Correct. buy tickets. Correct. 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 I wouldn't this. wait till the last moment because who knows who might be sold out at that point. Yeah, okay. And so certainly certainly what I imagine her life story is, is, is incredible, obviously. It's, it's something that we can all relate to. Uh, but you think maybe, maybe now is a good time for, for all of us to hear it. Absolutely. You know, there's so much division in our con country and so much bigotry and intolerance where people are different than us. And it's just her message is so simple to be more kind and be more tolerant to each other. How, how long have you been working on uh, getting her, you know, getting her to come here? I mean, as we're talking about, she's she's renowned, uh, you know, for her incredible story. I imagine it wasn't easy for you to, to line this up. It's been probably five years once I, since I've heard her speak. I heard some talk of hers, and I was so impressed of her courageous spirit and her positive energy. And therefore, this evening is more also about, not just about learning from the past, it's really important to learn and not to make those same mistakes. It's been 75 years since the Holocaust, since Auschwitz was liberated. And as well, but her story is also inspiring for all those that are struggling in so many different areas, because she's such a courageous woman, how she was able to build up her family, she was able to get married and, and build a family after the Holocaust and really move on with her life. It, it truly is incredible. incredible. I don't use that word incredible. lightly. Well, thank you so much for being here again. Uh, people can get tickets at HabbatofAshland.org. Yes, slash okay. Anne Frank. Slash Anne Frank. All right, great to see you. Thank, thank you so you. much for being, being here. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 